Hey guys, so for this video I want to show you how to pull with a sponge. One reason to use a sponge on the outside of the wall as opposed to your knuckle, um, the knuckle tends to really uh, distort the wall of the pot that you're pulling. So you can see um, in this example from my knuckle pulling video, um, the wall is strongly distorted uh, from the pull, right? Like, like this is where my fingers are pressing out and my knuckle is pushing in. So you don't really want that for a bowl shape. It's very difficult, especially as a bowl starts to get um, like wider and ha hangs over, like is overhung um, uh, more and more. It's hard to get rid of any kind of like inconsistencies in the wall. If you're looking for an uninterrupted curve, knuckle pulling is not a great way to get one. I mean, it can be done, but it's hard. So what I would recommend is sponge pulling for bowls. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that using this piece that I opened for a bowl um, for the previous video. So our first step, the sponge is always going to be in the right hand for this, and your inside fingers, middle and ring finger of the left hand, will of course take care of the inside wall. So rather than offsetting here, we're pretty much going to be like inside and outside are kind of opposed from one another. Um, the um, middle and ring finger of the left hand the ring finger is going to be right at the center point of the bowl, and um, that's going to take care of the interior. So that's going to move from the center point off to the right. I'm going to wet the outside of the bowl too. And uh, the sponge is going to have to be a little bit far away from the bowl um, this early on because it has to be resting on the back. So my um, forearms are down on my legs. My arms are bridged, to, they're touching, so I'm in a stable body position. Um, and start on the inside here, work my way across, and then apply counter pressure to the force of my inside fingers. So you're never pushing in from the outside. You're only pushing out from the inside and stopping that pressure. Um, another thing I want to talk about here specifically is um, recentering the rim because it's really part of pulling. Um, and you do it uh, with both pulling techniques. So what that looks like is the thumb and first two fingers of the left hand, like this. They're just pointing in the same direction that the clay is turning. A little water in the sponge, and um, the sponge is supported by my first finger on my right hand. So it looks like this. One, two, three points. I'm going to squeeze in with these two fingers and press down. And I'm always being mindful when making bowl shapes of um, not interrupting the curve on the interior of this pot. You can see the walls come up almost vertical, but it's a curve. There's no point you can identify really uh, in this curve that is um, like the point at which the walls come up vertical, right? It's like a curve. Um, <clears throat> that's important. You want to really keep that in mind for throwing bowls. So I'm going to run a little water down the inside wall, down the outside wall. I'm going to start again in the center point. You might say, well, the bottom's already done. Why would you start in the center point? The reason is, if you start in the middle of the wall, like if you just apply pressure all of a sudden in the middle of the wall and work your way from the center of the wall up, um, you'll end up with uh, like a dent or a divot in the wall that'll look kind of like the knuckle pulling example looked. Um, you never want that to happen for a bowl shape if you're looking for a clean interior curve. So you always start in the center, even if it's just like really gently. You always start in the center, work your way out. And right up the wall like that. You can see my fingers are opposed to one another, right? No offsetting. Um, and that's the difference uh, between sponge pulling and knuckle pulling. Now again, I'm going to center the rim, which means I'm just applying a little inward and downward pressure and squeezing with my first and middle, with my thumb and first finger of my left hand, just like that. And you can see that's a bowl shape. So I don't really wanna make a pot here. I wanna be just like really clear about um, opening for a specific type of form. So anything that's got a volume, a volume means a kind of a continuous curve, like part of a sphere or part of um, an ovoid shape. Anything that's curved in the bottom, you want to start like this. Anything that's square in the bottom or flat with the vertical sides, um, you want to start with the knuckle pulling technique. 
Hey guys, thanks for watching my video on sponge pulling. See you in the next one.